<laughs> Sing it. Welcome back. You're listening to Home Wizards on this uh, not-so-rainy day, at least hopefully not yet. It's looking like it's a really nice Saturday. This is Home Wizards. I'm Cindy Dole. We're here Saturdays 2 to 4 to talk about rain or shine, uh, how to really help you enjoy the spaces you call home, whether it's uh, an apartment, a condo, a home, a garden. All you have is just a little kitchen area to plant some things. We want to help you tackle it all. So thank you for hanging out with me this Saturday. We're talking about some great uh, ways to, to consider the outdoor space. Spaces and, and bring in plants and landscaping with a guy who's been doing this with his family for, for generations, David Snodgrass, who is landscape professional certified manager. He's the president of this national landscaping association called Planet, and, and he's uh, sharing some words of wisdom with us today. So thanks for being here, David. Yeah, thank you, Cindy. So let's talk about, first of all, some of the principles of landscaping and the choices that you make for us when someone hires you uh, for our outdoor spaces. What are people asking for right now? Uh, well, what are the one of the? Um, I guess what what they want to do is to is to make their property and their yard look as good as it can, and uh, there definitely is a trend for outdoor living space. People are spending more time outdoors, and um, so the the garden has become really an extension of the indoor living space. It it, it really makes great sense um, just because it. it it is gives you such a good feeling being around plants, and it really is a, a much lower cost to um, to develop that kind of living space versus the in, indoor. So it's real practical. It, it makes great sense, and um, it's a very strong trend. People are are developing the out of doors. Mm-hmm. And when you say outdoor living space, I mean that can take on so many different definitions. For some people, it can be just a little balcony. For others, it could be um, a patch of lawn, and, and maybe there's a barbecue and a little seating area. And then, and for others, it may mean multiple spaces. Um, and, and a big trend that we're seeing is the use of containers, right? To not only you know old school have them in your front, you know, by the front door. That's kind of uh, everyone can do that. But now the thing is to think outside the box, right, and put these these extra little accents anywhere. There, it's amazing how many options that you do have once you start to look out of doors. And, you know, the, the space can be just as simple a, as a lawn and put some some lawn furniture out there and enjoy it. Um, you can expand a deck. Um, you can put in a water feature. Um, there's There's been a lot of interest in outdoor um, fireplaces, fire pits. Um, and like you say, the um, with containers, you know, containers used to be something uh, that you did put on your porch, and and, uh, and that's where they stayed, and, and they were usually concrete or, or some um, earth tone. But if you look now, it, it is it's there's a whole different application. They're actually being um, art pieces put out in the in the landscaping, so as well as being on the deck. Uh, they also fit into the landscaping, and whether they're planted or not, um, they're just really bright colors now, and so it just complements everything else that's going on in the yard. Mm-hmm. And when someone hires a professional like you or they, they talk to anyone else within your association, what are some of the price points that you've been hearing about in the economy now? Has the price come down to, to get a great landscaping job with the help of a professional in terms of really you know, giving us some, some advice on just making it over the top just gorgeous? It is, uh, it is a competitive market like all the other businesses in a down economy. The, the green industry, the landscape industry is... Is also um, is also tight because people are tight with their spending and and as they should be when when the economy gets tight. Um, but there, but there's lots of ways to spend wisely and whether it be do it yourself or whether it be have somebody do it for you. The most important thing you should do is start with a uh, a really good landscape design. And you know I like the way you opened the show because you said you know. Sometimes you should just take a chair, sit out in the yard, and, and just be quiet in that space. And, and that's a great way to start uh, planning your landscaping is you just get a, get a good feel for, for um, the environment, for the area, for the neighborhood, for the, you know, you start to look at are there, are there windows from neighbors' houses that 
um, that are looking down upon you that you, that maybe need to be screened? Is there a sunny area that maybe you want to have a garden and do some uh, vegetable gardening? That's a huge trend now. Is is um, you know people are returning to to growing their own uh, because it tastes so much better. It, it um, and it's it's a lot of times healthier for you because you control the inputs. So. So uh, the most important thing, though, is to start with a plan. And even if it takes you uh, um, several different phases to complete that landscaping, at least you're working on the same plan, and, and you're pretty much assured that by the end of it, you're going to get something that all fits together in, into that master plan. And, and if you do landscaping well, it, it is not an expense. It's an investment, and, and it's actually one of the, the highest – returns on investments that you can get so long as you you do it right and All right, do well, it well. David, hold that thought. We're going to talk more about starting up with that plan, whether it's do it yourself or hire it done. And, and, and how do you infuse color? Because you were telling me earlier this week that color is wild and there's no such thing as being too wild in the garden. And how do you not only figure out some, some solutions for the front yard and the backyard, but maybe the side yard? We're going to come up with some actual plans for you to accomplish this weekend. You're listening to Home Wizards. The number is 888-KFWB980, 888-539-2980. You can call on in. Be sure to follow me on Facebook at CindyDole.com. And we're back. Home Wizards, after this. Give me peace. 